Hey YouTube, Anscale Addict here. I wanted to give you another brief update on my 3D printing projects. And I just received a new order from Shapeways a couple days ago. And they've been soaking in solvent. I took them out, washed them up. They've been drying now. Um, so I thought I'd take a moment and try to get you an up-close look at some of these models. Of course, I have nice detailed photos on my blog. Um, but wanted to spend just a little bit of time, make a video, and uh, maybe give you a little more detail on uh, some of these models. So here it goes. Okay, so I'm taking this video with my Canon Rebel, which takes great photos. Uh, the video, sometimes I think the focus is a little bit funky, so I hope you can see this close up. This is a raw model of a 53 foot livestock trailer, and just came from Shapeways the other day. And I wanted to just rotate it slightly so that you could see the ventilation holes, and you can actually look through it. And it is extremely clean. Just a perfect model. And again, this is what it looks like before the solvent bath. And I'll give you another close up of my finished model in just a bit. View of my finished livestock trailer. And I wanted to highlight the mud flaps that I made for this. I simply found a logo on the internet and then just used Microsoft PowerPoint, manipulated it with color um, and got it to the right size that I needed, printed it, cut it out and attached the Thelmer's glue. Pretty simple process. You just have to be resourceful. Um, I'll turn the model here, try to keep it in focus. As you can see, those ventilation holes are very clean. You can see right through the model, and it's just a perfect print. Just a fantastic model. This is a spread axle version. It would not be hard for me to make this a triple axle, uh, the same 53 foot length. Uh, I would need to put some additional design hours into this if I were to make, um, let's say, a double axle or uh, some other configuration. I did make this uh, model floorless, so it is open in the bottom, but that's just to reduce uh, overall volume of material since Shapeways does charge by the volume of material used. So that's just trying to uh, reduce the cost. So here it is, I'm gonna move on now. This is a set of four cabs for my Peterbilt 387 model. Just received these from Shapeways a couple days ago and uh, I soaked them in solvent and they're just sitting here waiting for paint. Uh, bottom dump trailers and four of these actually came from Shapeways a couple of days ago and I've soaked them in solvent, cleaned them with a little bit of water and a toothbrush. Overall this particular model, very clean, requires only a little bit of cleanup here and there before it's uh, ready for primer and paint. Uh, I've also been starting to sell some of these on eBay. They are already soaked in solvent so they're really pretty much ready to uh, uh, prime with uh, a little bit of cleanup work. So uh, if you haven't seen those yet, uh, go to eBay and check them out. Looking at here, well the pile of stuff that you see is actually uh, a bunch of headache racks for my tractors and also a bowl grill that I made for my Peterbilt. Uh, I've got one of those, as you can see, on a cab right here on the blue cab. I've got one of those ready to go. I just need to put some more details on that cab and uh, finish the frame and I'll have that ready to hook on to one of my livestock trailers. Uh, the headache rack is actually fairly universal. I've got one on my Mac uh, here in the back here and also on the Peterbilt in front and I'm guessing that they probably would fit about any other tractor that's available on the market today although I haven't really validated that yet. Um, I've got some sleepers here for my Peterbilts. I've got a uh, 48 inch and a 63 inch as you can see and I'm going to be putting those on some of my day cabs uh, so that I have more of an over the road type tractor but those are available on Shapeways now as well um, and as you can see I've got a bunch of cabs started I just need to finish the frames and uh, get them completed so again like I said on a previous video I've got more models than I have time to finish uh, but I'm having a lot of fun doing this 